Hello and welcome to the MBS Show Reviews and Discussion Podcast. I'm your host, Norman Sanzo, and joining me today is Silver Quill. Oh, crack here. We got a wild Norman here. Oh, my. Um, uh, have, do you have Shimmerty Barbie? Yeah, I threw I threw a bunch of shrimp into a dollhouse. Makes a terrible smell. Crikey! Oh god, whack! I I got no idea about Australians. All, all I know about all I know about Australian history is the Great Emu War. Emu War. Mm-hmm. That one I don't know much about. That that is real, my friend. That is real. Ask any Aussie, and they will tell you all about it. Uh, oh, you can Google it. <laughs> I, yeah, I can Google it because I don't, uh, I do not know any Australians besides Anthony C. Ah, man. No, you do know one. Uh, remember Twi Genesis? Ah, there we go. Yeah, but yeah, um, I, I'm guessing you already discovered the quote unquote Google search of the emo war. <laughs> yep, on Wikipedia. <laughs> Dumb. Uh, bloody hell. So I'm going to let you read first and enjoy it. <laughs> oh, man. It looks like uh, the military versus the emu. The emu won by sheer attrition. <laughs> Nature has its ways. <clears throat> oh, boys. So, anywho, in today's episode review, we are going to review My Little Pony Friendship is Magic issue number 93. Uh, in this fifth installment of the comics, 10th. Uh, uh, sorry. In this, inst- um, in this fifth installment of the comics, season 10, taking place after the series season 9. Wow, what the hell? Uh, in this issue, Scootaloo's parents snap Shutter and Mean All Good. Wow, well, okay, All Good, Mean All Good, return to Ponyville for a visit, and Scootaloo realizes they don't have much in common. Alrighty then. Uh, before we start with review, first impressions are in order, and Silver has been quiet for a bit. I'm guessing he's reading the wiki page. So, what have you discovered, my well, friend? I th- <laughs> I've discovered that attempting to cull the numbers of a population uh, of birds leads to internet memes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, so apparently, apparently uh, turns out the military operation for uh, population control of wild emus, not too successful. <laughs> not at all. Oh, wow. Oh man, you, you, I, you can just imagine how things are going, like the military are doing their meeting and then you got a um, emu that's dressed up like Solid Snake and doing all recon mission and stealth missions and whatnot. <laughs> or I got an emu in a, in a uniform and they're all like, you know, we, uh, we suspect we have a mole. <laughs> no, 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 a mole. Uh, then again, with all... The- there's a there's currently a Liberty Mutual commercial series featuring uh, an emu. Oh god! <laughs> and it's really stupid. The good kind of stupid, the bad mean, kind of stupid. You know, it could be the good kind of stupid, but more often than not, it's just the bad. Oh man, that, that's what that's what you don't want to hear. Like, there's a bad, there's a good kind of stupid that makes you chuckle all the time, like kung pao into the fist. <laughs> <laughs> he gets me every time, god damn it. <clears throat> Alrighty then, first impressions, Silver. First impressions. Well, I really love this issue for the dynamic between Scootaloo, Holiday, and Lofty. Unfortunately, the parents don't come off uh, all that great. And that will be, uh, I think, a consistent point of debate every time they show up. Oh. Because somehow they always wind up in the antagonistic role. But at the same time, too, um, I <laughs> I feel like they're really trying, you know, like they read the letters that's good, send them and so on. You know, what? I'm going to stop there because we're already touching on final thoughts and reviews. Yeah, no, 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 no. Uh, as for me, 
I like this comic. Oh, man, it's been a while since I read something new for review. And oh my goodness, like I had tears with this one, like tears of joy, sadness. But yeah, I, I was well, uh, welding up. Welling? Yeah, welding up. Yes, I, I was welding up. And man, they would, I, I really like this. And while I was reading through this, I have this feeling of, man, this story is great. Like, I, I like this story. This story is awesome. And I wish that... Um, I not, not really wish. I wonder if kids are reading this and... Um, sorry, uh, I, I wonder if kids are reading this and... Um, Celestia, where's my phone? Sorry, um... Um, I am distracted. Stop phone. Stop. Stop ringing. Anyway, um, give me a second to process. Yes, uh, I was wondering if uh, kids are reading this and getting the lessons out of this because I've always had this thought when watching ponies. Uh, you you there there's a lesson that they're trying to tell, and are you getting that lesson? And for this one, I do see it in the comics. Uh, do Do you agree? It depends on the story. I mean, there's always, there can be multiple lessons one can interpret from a story. This one, this one, I think you could talk about uh, the bonds of family are more complex than simple biological breakdown. <clears throat> or that uh, just because you don't, you don't take after your parents doesn't mean they love you any less. Mm, that's true, that's true. Or it's that uh, people who spend all their time out in the wild and can't function in society, well, I would say they shouldn't have children, but then we wouldn't have Scootaloo. That, and I'm not having that. That is also, no, sir. <laughs> that is also true. Scoot's best. Anyway, uh, with that, uh, if you guys have not read this comic, pause here and go do so. Welcome back. Oh, man. That was a real awesome story. Uh, before we hit into the review, we just have to take a look see at the cover. The cover is just Scootaloo uh, being uh, getting her uh, cheeks pinched by her parents, and oh my god, that's just a sight. <laughs> oh, it looks very painful. Uh -huh. Though I'm more a fan of the I'm more a fan of the B cover myself. Oh, ah man, where does one see the variant covers for this? Oh uh, goodness me, gallery. Um, uh, let's see here. I'll pull up. I'm sure on the Dirty Biboru, MLP, uh, IDW, Ant Holiday. Let's see. Okay, I see here. Maybe, maybe I can catch it. Okay, here we go. Wow. That looks great. Oh, wow. That looks really nice. Number one ant. Yes, I find, I find it a delightful, uh, let's see here. Artist of this. Dang it. Uh, who drew this? Because I find it quite wonderful. Uh, B cover. Oh, man. Uh, sorry. Uh, there's no name popping up here. Man, that sucks. Just a Suta. Oh. Do not know. Cover B. Just a Suta. I guess that's the artist? Probably. I guess. Uh, also, uh, if you check out cover R.I., the third cover, uh, it's done by any price. And that's cool, too. Yeah, Justa Suta is apparently, well, I'm assuming a pseudonym, uh, for a variety. They've worked on My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, uh, The Cats, oh. The Feats of Friendship, and the upcoming Return to Canterlot. Oh. Uh, comic are they going to be the proper artists or are they going to be the uh what should we call this uh cover artists <clears throat> i i do not know mm, okay no problem but anywho uh we stop making the bands of me <laughs> come on <laughs> okay 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 anywho um we start off the comic with a shot of the jungle um we see that um, a pony taking a picture of grass and so on and it's Scootaloo's dad um, all the while having a narration saying that um, in the darkest 
in uh, deep in the dark distant jungle of sh- 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 how do you say that word silver uh, shrine s h i r e shri shire lanka it's like sri lanka but no i know it's, shire it, I know the proper name. That's why I'm like confused because it's Sri Lanka. But oh god! But anywho, <clears throat> long story short, um, they uh, you don't go in alone. Um, here, take this <laughs> kind of situation. But um, they explain this the story about how well, not really story. Uh, they explain that. Um, you don't go in alone. You always have a partner, and all this happens because, well, sorry, not really. All this happens. Um, when whenever you travel, there's something that really matters, and that's family. Like okay, I say in the Vin Diesel voice, family. I know. Oh man. Well, to to be honest, when that part came out. I cracked up, and in my brain says, it's just a normal word, but due to the internet and its memes, Vin Diesel and Fast Five or Fast Furious came about. So yeah, that word is broken. <laughs> Wherever they travel, whatever creatures they discover, they never lose sight of what really matters. <laughs> Family. I'm gonna get in my car now. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> uh, but anywho, um, do you, do you remember who is who? Because I'm drawing a blank on who is who. Let's see. I believe that Holiday is the orange and red themed uh, pony, and Lofty is the bluer, uh, blue and green maned pony. Ah, okay. But uh, I was talking about the parents. But yes, um. Shutter snap. Uh, sorry. Um, shutter. <clears throat> snap shutter is uh Scooter's dad, and main all good is her her mom. <clears throat> yes. And then holiday and that the, there's the another one named. Uh, the, okay. Yeah, yeah. You got to understand by anywho, with all that, um, uh, with all that, Van Dieselness go out of the way. We see Scooter on the table helping out her aunts. Big um, lemon squares. Uh-huh. Lemon bars. Uh, lemon bars, S- which are usually square shaped. Mm. But anywho, um, Scooter Lou's hearing stories from her aunt, uh, telling her about how amazing, uh, from her aunt about how amazing her parents are, and so on. And um, how to put this? They, they kind of stop their adventuring days to kind of take care of her and yeah they, 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 she she gets to well i won't say get um she discovers that they live an ex- exciting life while she lives a normal and boring life scootaloo you live in ponyville there's nothing normal or boring about it just tell them about the time paris sprites invaded Tell her the time. Tell them. Ab- tell them the time about when T Rex came along. Or how about the one it needed spell? Or or or, whenever Discord does something. Or whenever Twilight does something. <laughs> That's true. Pinkie Pie. Yeah, I mean, do you really need to say much about Pinkie Pie? Probably not. <laughs> But and Probably the less the better. They'll think you, you, it's all gone insane. <laughs> that is true. But anywho, while they're talking and whatnot, um, I think they're telling us that her parents are coming back for a visit and Scooter is excited to meet up with them and she has plans to, well, do stuff with the parents. And she's afraid that... Um, she might be she might come off as boring while they're exciting in their life and whatnot and her aunt are supporting her by telling her that hey uh, why don't you just show them around ponyville and so on or maybe the clubhouse or your favorite ice cream parlor so yay so yay. while 
um, they're talking, they hear a doorbell, and Scootaloo rush over to the door, uh, tossing the batter mix to Ant. Give it a second. Ant Lofty! Yay! Got it right. <laughs> So Scootaloo approaches the door, opens up, and it's her parents. Yay! Awesomeness. Um, she says hello to them and uh, asks how was their trip and whatnot. And yeah, um, they have a great time. And her parents are there to take her to... Well, um, they say here... Um, want to bring uh, sorry uh, we want to show you what our lives are like as sorry or our or as close as we can we know you love it and once uh they bring her it's the cantalot institute of creature research exhibit and Skutler is a bit disappointed at this but hey um getting to spend time with the family is great right 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 okay and with that, I'm going to pause here. Silver, what do you think? Well, I mean, right now we're, we're picking up right where we left off with uh, the last crusade. Uh, we, we know about Scootaloo's parents and their work and Holiday and Lofty's uh, relationship while raising Scootaloo. I can't say there's anything new introduced here except maybe a, a higher emphasis on family, Vin Diesel notwithstanding. <laughs> Oh boy. But uh, so far it's just an introduction, but you know the minute Scootaloo has expectations, they're going to get crushed. The rules of storytelling demand it. <laughs> oh no. But I mean, when, when you take a look, see, it kind of makes sense, right? I mean, uh, she's adventurous, outgoing, really kind of a go-getter. So having... Uh, well, I, I guess it's the museum part. Yeah, like going to the museum is not fun, probably. It depends on the museum, but yeah, for kids, they don't associate the museum with fun. I think it's something you appreciate as you get older. Probably, probably. So, um, her parents tell Scootaloo that um, during their youth, they found their passion through, well, um, for sh sh snaps. Uh, it's true photography and wild for main Elgood. It's true reading books and discovering about the flash piece. Yeah. So that's how she discovered her passion. And her parents are hoping to kind of instill that passion to her via, well, doing this tour. And I wasn't going to, sorry, I'm not, um, I wasn't expecting the scene that was going to happen next. And yeah, let's just say that her parents are having a great time while Scootaloo is having the total opposite. And yeah, uh, she's being chased by birds, um, spit on by frogs, uh, have... Murphogrin. Uh, mm, okay. Uh, have horrible odor by a mole? What was that? Mole worm. Mole worm. And it's being bullied by a phoenix. And also a Garuda? A uh, rock. A uh, rock. So yeah, um, all this while uh, her parents are having a great time while she is not. You can say that she was the decoy. So... <clears throat> or the sacrifice. Okay, it's also true. So um, there's one last thing that they want to do, and Scootaloo says, we go get ice cream? But no, 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 no. What they do go is to see a crocodile war, war, wargling? That's how you say it? Wrangling. Wrang oh, crocodile wrangling. Cro crocodile wrangling. All right. And it's kind of a family tradition and so on. And the reason why they do this is to, well, see the tooth, see how many they've lost and see how healthy they are. And we see Scootaloo kind of freaks out and the 
<laughs> the crocodile already getting its maw uh, tied up and we see all good uh trying go, going in going in going in and we see Skuzu run away run away run away run away and even the crocodile looks hurt Hi. that she's fleeing don't, don't you want to count my teeth <laughs> yeah Oh, man. Although, th this is one part where I have to fault the arches a little. Mm. They're in the water, but none of their hooves or anything looks submerged. Therefore, it's more like they're standing on a blue uh, counter or a fake gla uh, a glass top. Mm. Uh, forgivable, forgivable. The effect is still there. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, after that, uh, we, we see her parents... Uh, go up to Scootaloo asking what happened, are you sick and whatnot. And Scootaloo just explains that uh, she just couldn't handle it. Um, she's scared and she never gets scared. Um, and she asks, Do you guys really enjoy this? And they answer, Yes, we do. And we love this kind of work like we do after all. I mean, like, this is their passion, this is their life. Uh, let's see what that's what we do together. We want okay. Um, what they wanted to do in <laughs> what they wanted to do is just bring Scootaloo into the family business, quote unquote business, and um, passion because she's family. Family, yeah. uh, but anywho, they head back to Ponyville on train. Um, she looks dejected. And her parents ask, um, do you want us to walk you home and whatnot? And she says, nah, she's good, she's good. And we, we see her walking all the way home that she is not looking great. Like her wings are floppy and yeah, she, she's just not feeling it. And I do see foreshadowing. Water sport rentals, skis and more. Also ice cream parlor and the clubhouse. Well, there we go. But first we got to talk about family. 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 So anywho, Skutulu opens the door to her home, is greeted by her aunts. And she tries to smile it and she breaks down and her aunt just asks and comforts her and I'm gonna pause here because this is the part where I lost it emotionally like oh, oh the feels yeah I mean like oh god damn and oh man how, how do I even explain this like the other disappointment and defeat of a kid who just this who who is just feels like she's being pulled in so many directions don't want to disappoint people and just feels so caught in between like i don't know how or why but artists who did drawing here trish oh wow no wonder <coughs> um you you feel it you, you feel it in the art like oh man like ah and the ants here the response that you can really feel like they're really oh, they're, they're they're caring oh my god like oh, i that this moment really makes me love this comic what about you Silva? well i can very much identify with scootaloo there are those days where you, you're just trying to keep it together until you get home, and then there's that feeling of safety where you can really be yourself, even if that self is just utterly miserable. I'm, I'm very lucky that I have parents that, uh, that foster that trust and are there to help no matter how you're feeling. I find it a little telling that, uh, that school's parents are staying at a hotel rather than in the same building as Holiday and Loft. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the part where I was kind of um, questioning in my mind. Like, is there any reason? Like, you, you know what I mean? 
I do, and I think there is a reason. It's that these two spend all their time out in the wild, away from civilization, away from, well, norms. Mm -hmm. I think they feel a little overwhelmed being back in a civilized society. Mm -hmm. And that, in some ways, having a hotel is a needed buffer. Probably is the norm for them. Uh, when, when you think about it, they travel a lot. They travel, let's just say, <laughs> for, for sake of discussion, they head to Sri Lanka. Uh, stay in a hotel for a bit before heading off to wherever they need to go. So, ho a hotel is quote unquote a norm for them. Well, but the fact that they even they feel a little discomfort with family. Family. It's it's clear that they're doing the best they can. This is the hard thing. These two are unintentionally an antagonist force, both in the Last Crusade and in this comic. Mm -hmm. They don't mean to make Skulu feel bad. They don't mean for any of this to go wrong. They just are trying to be parents, but they don't have a lot of practice, it sounds like. Yeah, that's true. And in all honesty, I can agree with the parents with what they're trying to do because, um, like they mentioned before, they read all the letters that Skulu wrote to them. I might be going fast forward, but I don't care. Um, they, they read all the letters that Scooter wrote to them and they want to... They, they, they don't really get to see how that shapes her and whatnot. So, w when they arrive in Ponyville, they thought that, okay, why not we pull our kid into this and uh, let's see, let, let her enjoy what we enjoy. I mean, in all honesty, it's it, it's a kind of okay thing. It's, it's, it's the parents trying to... Um, involve the kid in the family uh what you call this family hobby and whatnot or family business but skudulu is so out of it that she doesn't like or can relate to what their parents are doing well, she gets scared and uh, well those giant creatures are enough to scare any kid you're they're bigger than an adult imagine how much more terrifying they are to to a fool that is true that is true and uh, man like i mentioned before i can't really fault the parents but at the same time too <laughs> but now i mean the the parents have expectations that they mentioned that on uh, when they were her age uh they were already doing crazy things like this so yeah man can't can't really say much, but any. Well, I can. I can say great things about holiday and loft. Ah, do you want to go there now, or should we wait a bit? Yes. All right. Yes, we should go there now because I love everything about this this panel sequence where Scoo's on the couch and uh, one aunt is bringing her a lemon bar and the other is just wiping her tears and Scoo's just seeing things through. Uh, and they're so proud to be her her caregivers. She's the daughter they want. Yeah, and oh man, best thing that ever happened to us. Yeah, that that broke me, man. Like that broke me. Like no, like manly tears were coming out. <laughs> manly tears were shed. Yes, yes. But man, like you can, um, Trish Foster. If I'm not mistaken, she's uh. Pixie, pixel, pixel kitties, right? Mm, I, I'd have to double check that. I'm not sure. Okay. Yes, it's her. Yes, it's her. Uh, on the DeviantArt page, she would be under pixel kitties. Man, it's been a while. Let me see. Um, if I'm not mistaken, she was a fan art fan artist who became well um give me a second uh divine art uh no sorry not not pixel cuties uh nanook one two three huh really now give me a second i'm so confused Oh, did she change her name? 
forgot. But either or, um, she was a fan artist who did a lot of work, then, well, got hired. Good for them. Yep. But anywho, let's carry on. Uh, where were we? Where, what were we talking about? Yes, the art. Yeah, art is... Oh, man. Art is amazing. Like, you can feel the emotions, the uh, concern, the... Um, the the love like you you, you can feel it, or is I, or am I being crazy? No, you're not crazy. Well, at least not in this case, <laughs> I reserve the right to uh, apply that to other instances. All right, but no, the 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 love they show to Scootaloo and the the family interaction is great. It's wonderful, and even uh, well, the next day when Scootaloo asked her parents to go to the ice cream parlor for breakfast. <laughs> One, I appreciate Maine All Goods. It's got eggs and milk, right? <laughs> yeah, sure. That's the argument. Uh, but still, I mean, it's... I, I don't know, man. Like, it's one of those things where... Yeah, okay. Let's um, pander to... Uh, the kid for a bit. Let, let's throw some pandas at him. <laughs> oh boy. But Skulu's able to voice her thoughts, and I love the framing of a panel where Skulu is sitting on one end of the table, her parents are sitting on the opposite end. Mm -hmm. uh, there's this scene in Citizen Kane, mm -hmm. or a sequence of shots, rather, where Kane and his first wife are... are uh, sitting at a table, and at first it's a small table, it's intimate, it's loving, but over time the length of the table grows as their uh, attitudes towards one another cool. And the marriage is clearly going down the rocks. Here, the parents are seem far away from their daughter. But in the next panel, they bridge the gap. They've closed that distance by listening to Scootaloo and reassuring that you've never disappointed us mm -hmm. and that they reaffirm their love for her as a parent yeah. as parents mm -hmm. and she, she explains she explains her feelings she explains her emotion and this this is what we this is what was said by Aunt Lofty and, and Holiday that why don't you tell them how you feel tell them the truth I think that's what yeah tell, yeah, tell them the truth. Tell them yeah. the truth about how you feel and whatnot. And they reassure Skutulu that, nah, they won't be disappointed in you. And th those those few words of comfort there means the world. Like, oh my goodness, that, that was great, man. <clears throat> so that, that was a great reconciliation scene. And we get an abbreviated tour of Scootaloo's favorite things to do. Mm -hmm. So The clubhouse is nice, although I wonder why they have to peek in through the windows rather than actually enter the sacred Cutie Mark Crusaders clubhouse. <laughs> don't know, man. I don't know. Like, maybe just for framing reference. Uh, so, yeah, they, they did they did most of the things that Scootaloo wanted to do. Um, go eat ice cream, show her parents to the clubhouse, and last but not least, have jet skis. Not really. Um, What, what did they call this? Uh, water skiing? Yeah, ski? water skiing. We, we get to see uh, Scootaloo do her thing, and she's really good at it. And, well, I appreciate that they use the uh, the water. I don't know who's driving that boat, but Scootaloo gets these several stunts broken up into unofficial panels <laughs> by the by the ski line. Yep. And also the um, water uh, ripples, what do you call it? Or waves. Waves, yeah. I would say. So that, that's cool, too. So um, as Scootaloo uh, hits to shore, you you get to see um, the, the the parents like I'm not sure if they're worried or whatnot, but in, in when you see the picture, they they look like they're worried, they're uh, scared for her, but the panel below shows them that they're 
um, loving and whatnot. Uh, things are. I'm trying to see what they're, uh, what the art is trying to say. Ah, yes, there we go. Um, uh, lo- p- pony name, who you? Uh, yes, all good. Uh, all good says, uh, we love your letters, but they aren't enough to tell us everything. Uh, the things you like, who you're growing into. So, yeah, that's what I was uh, saying before. And they they really have <laughs> the letters that they sent to one another don't really convey who they're growing up to be but they still love each other and as uh, all good says um you'll always be our daughter uh, they have the family hug i mean th- this is why i can't totally write off uh these two as parents they they do show love for their mm-hmm. daughter they're just have a hard time fitting into what we, what I would call a social norm. Yep, and we we <laughs> and in all honesty, um, relationships like this do happen. Um, not to this extreme, I hope, but um, maybe a kid who goes to boarding school at a young age when they go meet their parents or so on, not. Uh, they don't really relate to one another because probably their upbringing is different. Probably their social, um, how do I put this, interaction is different from what they have, what what they're doing at home and so on. So things like this do happen. Um, this is just an extreme version of um, that. And to talk about extreme. <laughs> taking dear old dad for water skiing <laughs> and he's wishing he had wings right about yeah. now and oh goodness me like he <laughs> for a person who wrangles crocodiles um gives uh rocks massages um water skiing seems to be tame on that list but nope 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 he he's he's afraid for his life <laughs> even though there are no crocodiles are all too bad <laughs> It's like, Jane, all good, get me off this crazy thing. <laughs> uh, but in the end, um, the, the family's having fun. And yeah, it, it, it's a nice shot. It's a nice shot. And with that, right. calm again. Oh, man. All right. Um, so, Silver, final thoughts. What do you think, man? Oh, I think this thoroughly tugged on the heartstrings. It's a great story for Scootaloo, who for a while was the oft-neglected cutie mark crusader and uh, she's just adorable i appreciate that as much as i enjoy sweetie bell and apple bloom i appreciate that they don't show up in this uh comic that it is very much focused on scootaloo's family and scootaloo's family handles things in all its myriad forms no one's the villain no one's trying to be hurtful it's just different worldviews and drives coming together yeah and so i can't bring my i I remember some folks really don't like the school's parents because of their absence and lack of understanding and i understand that anger but i don't think they're as damning as other bad parents in fiction true i mean we just recently review arcane (laughs) oh yeah (laughs) there's some bad parenting in there to Mm -hmm. be sure even from the good guy, by the way. Yep. Yeah, but uh, like with with um, Snapshutter and all mean all good, they're not. How, how do I put this? They're not bad parents. They're just different in terms of how they perceive um, their. Uh, in terms of how they perceive parenting and there might be some debate to that but they care a lot for Scootaloo and only wants the best for her and in their mind at the time they thought that hey why not we expose her to what we like and love and in all honesty um, I've seen parents 
uh, do that. Like kids like uh, parents like Lego. Kids should like Lego. Uh, parents play classic video games. Sorry, uh, parents play classic video games. Kids should play classic video games and, and the, so on and so on and so on. <coughs> so we're in agreement there. They may not have taken the best path, but they are loving parents even so. Mm, true. And they just need to know one another. And the sit down that Skutulu had with uh, her aunts and her parents later on did the trick. Um, I feel like later on we'll. <laughs> I, I'm. I have a strong feeling that we won't. But I have a feeling that when Skutulu sits down with them the next time, they'll probably take it slow and try to connect in some shape or form. There we go. And then they'll have the great meteor fall that wiped out current Equestria and set the stage for G5. Oh, the tragedy, the horror. Oh, no. What happened? <laughs> Who knows? We'll find out in return to Canterlot. Oh, my goodness. Like, could you just imagine if that um, that happened and it became like uh, Horizon? Horizon Zero School. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, with that episode... Um, coming in so I, I'm, I'm already guessing we already gave our thoughts yeah yeah, yeah. yep so let, let's, let's, let's wrap things up so anyway if you guys have any questions concerns or suggestions for the show you can uh, contact us at dmbsgmail.com you can also catch me on the twitters the show's twitter account is at the MBS show and my personal twitter account is at Norman Sanzo Silver where can the good people find you Oh, you can find me lots of places. You can find me on uh, Twitter, DeviantArt, and YouTube under MLP Silver Quill. Uh, YouTube in particular will announce uh, all the various links, including Patreon, Kofi, TV Tropes, you name it. Uh, and, well, I can still do editorials but on Equestria Daily, but right now we're in an in-between state on comics. Ah, yes. So eagerly awaiting. Oh, by the way, I, I saw your recent video. Oh, man, this is going to date the podcast. Oh, sorry, this is going. <laughs> this is going to date the review. But I, I really love what you did with the um, live review and how you edited it. <laughs> oh, well, thank you. I mostly I just had a screen recording going. But the snippets that you used for the show, was that screen recorded or was that um, edited out later on? Oh, well, those I edited uh, in. Still. What I edited out was that PowerPoint didn't want to play those clips because they were, I think, such high, uh, high data. Uh, so, got to work on that. Uh, well, uh, at least you... Well, at least it works at home, but... Uh, I, I, I wasn't in the audience at home. Sorry, I wasn't in the audience. But the audience seems hype. Like, I do love the interaction, by the way. Oh, well, I'm glad for that. They had some wonderfully dark <laughs> headcanons. <laughs> that is also true. That is also true. But that is why um, doing a live review like that is fun. Especially when you have very talkative and interactive fans. There we go. Yeah, so... Uh, the moral of the story is, if you're going to any conventions that Silver is, go check him out. <laughs> I appreciate it. it. It'll be... All I can promise is, it won't be boring. No, I try, I try to avoid that at all costs. <laughs> Unlike me. <laughs> uh, boys, anywho, and also please subscribe to us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. And also Stitcher Radio and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PrintofLive.com. Home. Links are in the show notes. If you'd like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash the MBS show. With every support, you get a week's early access to review discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. Talking about the thank yous, I would like to thank Lucky Knight, Master of Black, and also Tristan. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo. I am the Silver Quill. Well, guys, catch you next week with another fun episode of the MBS show. See ya. Adios. So, 
wrestling crocodile is not a good parenting tip? Probably not. I feel that even the real Steve Irwin got criticized for having a baby near a crocodile. That's true, that's true. So the best alternate the other alternative is to hug an eagle. Even then I feel like the eagle is no touchy. <laughs> that's what you say. <laughs> I just need Dad to take a picture of it. Dad, where are you? Uh, talk talk to Peacemaker. <laughs> <laughs>